poison ivy vine on this tree. So I'll come back better protected so none of the juice gets on me and I'm gonna sever this vine down the bottom over here and uh, maybe that'll kill it. All right, so I did a little spring cleaning, no pun intended. Cleared out a lot of those little branches. Uh, so I cleared my approach in case I got across this small brook. Um, this way it's a little bit easier and I'm not falling in. So two trees fell down next to each other. I kind of made like a small little work area here. So I'm going to clear that up and I kind of got an area. And then I left these branches over here, kind of like a coat hanger to hang packs and jackets and whatnot, tarps, whatever you got, maybe stuff that's wet. And then this tree continues on over here. There's another fallen tree there. And I believe this is the area where I'm gonna try to triangulate some type of shelter. And that fat, humongous poison ivy vine. I'm dying to kill it. But I don't ever want to own this saw again if I do. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today. Baby steps. I got this all cleared out. Can't find one stone for a fire pit. But I'll lug those in next time. Um, again, I got some good uh, space and area with a water supply right here all I need to do is get rid of that flipping poison ivy vine before I really start to do some serious work here because that thing is going to be gross in the summer yep there's also a couple of widow makers around here that I'm going to have to take down um, but it's a work in progress speaking of work in progress so is the Hidden Woodsman channel uh, with my cousin Malcolm. I'm over there also editing his videos. So if you like this type of content for bonus footage, just go over to Malcolm's channel, subscribe up, and I'll be editing those. And I'm in most of them too. So again, for my subscribers, I apologize that content is not here um, on my channel. But again, it's family, it's business, and I'm helping them out. So hopefully you all can understand. Yeah, and this. Uh, tripod I'm gonna leave it here I've been trying to leave one at every camp that I visit 
uh, frequently. That way I can just pull it out and pop up my stool. And I mean, this thing is great, even though it is a stool, seems like a little bit of a pain in the ass to set up. Um, you can still kneel on it, sit on it, whatever. So it's multi purpose. And again, it folds up that thin. And I basically have a stool or a kneeling pad. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching as always. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.